Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to mod Kingdom Hearts 3. The things you'll need are hacked PS4, a fake package file of Kingdom Hearts 3, a hex editor, and PS4 patch builder, which I'll link in the description below. Now that I got that out of the way, let's go on to the next part. Okay guys, now that you have, I'm assuming you have the PKG file, what you have to do is extract the contents from the PKG file. But what you want to do is use the PKG editor to extract the files. Now that you have it open, go ahead and drag the G PKG file onto the program. Now press export to GB4 project and press save. And it should start extracting immediately. If it says not responding, it's actually extracting, so don't click out of it until it's done. It should say exported project to whatever directory you you put it on when it's done. And when that's done, it should look something like this. With the exception of this folder. This is not part of the PKG file, so completely ignore this one. Now what we want to do is modify the contents of the pack file. So what we need to do is... Go ahead and copy this. And go ahead and download this folder right here. I'll put it in the I'll put the zip file in the description below. Oh, I should also No, this this may only work on the North American version of uh Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm not sure if this is going to work on other versions of the game. But I'm completely confident this is going to work on the American ver on the North American version. Cuz I own the version of that game. Okay, now that you've downloaded that, go ahead and go to this directory. Go ahead and paste the file on here. The pack file you want to edit on here. In this, in my case, it's the one that it's pack chunk three six, pack chunk pack chunk one three six. Okay, now, if, now to modify the pack file, go ahead and drag into a hex editor and you'll see all this. Now we have to navigate to the file we want to modify and it seems I'm already, I'm already on it. If you want to see where exactly this file is located, it's right here. Pack check one three. One S three six, Tres game content levels M I, which is Monstropolis. M I zero one, which is the first area of Monstropolis you visit. The new map. And this is the file I'm gonna edit within the pack file I have on the X hex editor. But I'm trying to mod is the enemies. That spawn in Monstropolis in the first area. So what you want to do is drag this one over to the hex editor. And what you want to look for is this. This code will allow us to edit and modify what enemies will spawn on the map. Now go ahead and 
Look this up. Actually, instead of just looking it up, to go to openkh.dev slash kh3 slash pawns it should bring you to this page. Go ahead and look it up. You see, as you can see, there's t it's a turtle head. This is the one, this is the enemy I want to uh, replace. Oh, you can pretty much replace them with any enemy or boss you want. I want to replace them with... How about Riku Replica? I'll go back to the pack file. And replace the... Enemy Pawn. With the Riku Replicas. Actually, I technically don't have to save this. Because it'll just select it when I copy it anyways. So that, that you've changed this file. What you want to do is go ahead and... Find the... Uh, what we need to do is find this file. Or specifically this... First area of the file. on In the pack file. So go ahead and search it up on your hex editor. Oh yeah, the hex editor I recommend is hex editor Neo, the one I'm using right now. Yeah, what you want to search for is the beginning of the file. That's what I meant to say earlier. So you can easily replace the file with a no problems. The game won't crash on you or anything. But you try to load the load the game. So what you want to do now, since this file is modified, and it's the same exact file as the one right here, go ahead and copy paste it into the pack file. And now the pack file is modified. Then what you want to do now is go ahead and download PS4 Patch Builder. And insert. Actually, we do this. This will be faster. Put this directory into the oh, wrong program. Put this directory into here. Then find the original. PKG file and place it in there. Uh, wrong program again. If you have an official package file, it's going to ask for a passcode. If you have an official pack fi file, I think it may. Package file, I might put that in the description. But you're mo you'll most likely have a fake package file. Which, if you do, if you do the password will most likely be all zero. So don't worry about it if you have a fake package file. Because it's all zeros. This will automatically update every time you press build package. Not a output of the uh, patch will be in this directory. Now all I have to do to mod to create the pack file is to press build package. Now it's gonna take some time. It's not gonna take as long as the as extracting the files. It's going to take a decent amount of time. But 
I'll go ahead and cut this once, cut this to a part where it's done. Okay, guys, it seems it's done now. When you go to that directly, you should see this package file right here. The size will vary depending on how many pack files you have in it. Now all you have to do is drag this to the root of your USB. Now all you have to do is put this in your you put this in your PS4 so you can inject the patch into the game. Okay guys, on your hacked PS4, go ahead and ena enable him. Then go to... Debug settings... Game... The package installer... Then simply install the patch. Just like that. Depending on how big it is, it will take a maybe from a few seconds to a few minutes for it to install onto the console. Now we go straight to Kingdom Hearts 3 to see if we modded it. We were successful at modding the game. Okay, let's see if he did it. The ball we do is wait for this to load and see what happens. Uh, I noticed that there's keep keep the graveyard music is playing in this area. That's from one of the pack files. That's not from the pack file I modded. It's from a different one. Uh, if you go over so here. Long. As you can see, the mod is successful. I replaced all of them with uh, Ruby replicas. <laughs> Again. I guess I could I might as well try defeating all the fire in the game. Ah, they won't even put their HPs out right now. They'll just bring out their HP down and just end it. Okay. Let's get out of the uh let's get out of the way. 
Let them despawn. Okay guys, I'm going to end the video here. If you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. If you have any questions in the comments section, please feel free just to type it in there.